This is Radio Nepal. I'm Goshal Kimide with the news. The headlines first. Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal Prachanda in New Delhi for four-day official visit to India. Prime Minister says his visit focused on fostering harmony. President Ram Chandra Paudil authenticates bill drafted to amend Nepal Citizenship Act 2006. World Bank to provide 120 million US dollar concessional loan and 19.7 million dollar aid to Nepal. And Sydney's army suspend Jeddah talks accusing paramilitary rapid support force of violating agreement. Now the news in detail. Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal Prachanda commenced his visit to India yesterday with the aim of fostering harmony between the two countries. During a reception organized by the Embassy of Nepal in India yesterday evening, Prime Minister Dahal expressed his commitment to cultivating mutual trust and welfare with the focus of benefiting Nepal and its people. The visit, initiated at the invitation of Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, will involve discussions on various bilateral issues of interest and welfare. Prime Minister Dahal highlighted the long-standing relations between Nepal and India, emphasizing that the visit would further strengthen their friendly ties. He He commended Nepalese residing in India, urging them to utilize their acquired skills and knowledge for the prosperity of Nepal. Additionally, he shared the government's effort to grant voting rights to Nepalese living abroad and the recent inclusion of foreign employees in the social security scheme. Prime Minister Dahal assured that the national economy impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic was gradually recovering under the present government's leadership with a strong commitment to economic development. He also emphasized the priorities of combating corruption and providing pro-people services. Furthermore, he noted the democratic progress in Nepal with the election of the three tiers of government. Prime Minister Dahal, accompanied by a Nepali delegation, is scheduled to hold a bilateral meeting with his Indian counterpart, where significant agreements on energy, trade, commerce and mutual interest are expected to be made. The official visit to India spans four days and he will return back home on the 3rd of June. Upon arrival to New Delhi yesterday, Union Minister of State for External Affairs and Culture of India, Minakshi Lekhi welcomed Prime Minister Dahal at Indira Gandhi Airport in New Delhi. Nepali Ambassador to India Dr. Shankar Sharma and Indian Ambassador to Nepal Navin Srivastav, among others, were present on the occasion. Prime Minister Dahal was greeted with a cultural procession at the airport. President Ramchandra Paudal has authenticated the bill designed to amend the Nepal Citizenship Act 2063 Bikram Summer 2006 AD. Issuing a statement yesterday, spokesperson for the Office of the President, Sailaja Rekmi Bhatrai confirmed the authentication of the bill by the President. The Office of the President said the Office of the Prime Minister and Council of Ministers had written to the Office of the President for giving approval to the bill. It is also mentioned that the Government of Nepal Council of Ministers on the 26th of May recommended the President for his assent to the bill. The bill was passed by both the Houses of the Federal Parliament in last July and House Speaker had assented the bill on the 31st of July 2022. However, the bill was not given approval by the then President Bidya Devi Bhandari. Meanwhile, Major opposition party CPNUML has said that the authentication of the bill to amend the Citizenship Act 2006 when it was lying inactive violated the parliamentary procedures. UML Parliamentary Party Deputy Leader Subhas Nemang said the party was shocked by the decision of the Council of Ministers to revive the bill and the President agreeing on it. He claimed that the bill needed amendment and the time it was approved was not appropriate. 
However, top leaders of Madhya province have commented that uh, the supremacy of parliament has been maintained with the authentication of the bill by the president. Welcoming the authentication of the citizenship bill, former vice president of the Nepali Congress, Bimalendra Nidhi, said the problem of children long deprived of citizenship despite having their parents uh, as Nepali citizens has been resolved. Likewise, chairperson of the Janta Samazbadi Party, Chair Janta Samazbadi Party, Upendra Yadav, also welcomed the president's move to authenticate the bill. Finance Minister Dr. Prakash Sharan Mahat has said the government would now focus its attention on the implementation of the budget. Taking part in a post-budget discussion organized by the Society of Economic Journalists in Kathmandu yesterday. Finance Minister Dr. Mahat said he had given high priority to ensure capital expenditure. He added that an effective implementation of the capital expenditure would lead to an increased foreign assistance which would ease the sources. Likewise, former Finance Minister Dr. Yuvaraj Khatiola said the economy was in a policy trap due to the governance practices after 2007 and its effects were increasing more these days. He further said the situation arose due to the competition in distributive programs, then in production-promoting programs. The World Bank has agreed to provide 120 million U.S. dollar concessional loan and 19.7 million U.S. dollar fiscal aid to Nepal. The agreement was signed amid a function organized at the Finance Ministry in Kathmandu yesterday. Finance Secretary Arjun Prasad Pokhrel and World Bank Country Director for Nepal, Faris Hadar Jevro, signed the agreement from their respective sides. The International Development Association under the World Bank provided the loan and aid to Nepal for infrastructure development and maintaining quality education in public schools in Nepal. The Health and Population Ministry has issued a directive to health institution to mandatorily ensure free treatment to the poor, helpless and guardian-less patients. The Ministry has also directed the health institutions to strictly follow the health institution operation standards. The government has acted upon the complaints that the health institutions have been raising parking fees, failing to provide minimum wages to employees and floating the operation standards. President Ramchandra Paudel has appointed non-resident ambassadors to five countries. In a press statement issued by the Office of the President, states that President Paudel added responsibility of non-resident ambassador to Fiji to resident ambassador to Australia, Kailas Raj Pokhrel. Likewise, the portfolio of the non-resident ambassador to Argentina has been added to resident ambassador to Brazil, Nirmal Raj Kafle. Nepali ambassador to Russia, Milan Raj Tuladar, has got the added uh, responsibility of non-resident ambassador to Belarus. Nepali resident ambassador to Denmark, Dr. Ram Swartha Rai, has got added responsibility of non-resident ambassador to Norway, and Nepali ambassador to Pakistan, Tapas Adhikari, got the responsibility of non-resident ambassador to Turkey. The Vice Chairman of the National Planning Commission, Dr. Meen Bahadur Swasta, and the UN Resident Coordinator in Nepal, Hannah Singer Hamdi, yesterday engaged in a discussion regarding the issues Nepal aims to address during the upcoming UN General Assembly. Dr. Swester informed that the focus of discussion was securing a necessary financial, technical and mutual assistance to achieve Nepal's development goals. They deliberated on how to effectively pursue the Sustainable Development Goals in the remaining years. In response, Hana Singer Hamdi expressed the UN's commitment to Nepal's well-being. She applauded Nepal's strategic efforts to graduate from the category of least developed countries despite the challenges. You're listening to Radio Nepal's 8 a.m. English News Bulletin. Time for a short break now. Bazu Dorsan Bagimani Babu Ramri Ipunwani Azur Ramri Pugi Utsai Mir College Co best friend Naste Bazu Naste Aunavitre Unsa Bazu Oni Data Office Goisaknu Bolai 
उहाँ त बिहानै हो हुन्छ तपाईहरु फ्रेस हुँदै गर्नु न म खाना तयार गर्दै गर्छु है हस् हस् भाउजु ओए वाईफाई होला नि पासवर्ड माग न ह त पनि एनटीसी को सस्तो डे प्याक छ त्यसो नि ए हो र एनटीसी को डे प्याक लिन एस्ट्रिक 1415 ह्यास डायल गर्न नेपाल टेलिकम Sudan's army has suspended its participation in talks over ceasefire and humanitarian access, raising fears of renewed fighting that has displaced hundreds of thousands of people. The talks with the rival paramilitary rapid support forces began in the Saudi Arabian, Saudi Arabian port city of Jeddah in early May, resulting in two short-term ceasefire deals that have been reportedly violated. The army and the paramilitary had agreed to extend a week-long ceasefire deal by five days just before it was due to expire late on Monday. Al Jazeera quotes the diplomatic sources as saying on Wednesday that the army was suspending its participation in the talks. Now, the general weather forecast for the country for today, according to the Meteorological Forecasting Division, the weather will be partly cloudy. In Kosi province, along with the hilly regions of Gandaki province, Karnali province and Sudurpachi province, and partly cloudy to mainly fair in the rest of the country. Brief rain or thunder showers are likely to occur at one or two places of Kosi province and hilly regions of Gandaki province, Karnali province and Sudurpachi province. With this, we have almost come to the end of this news bulletin. But before wrapping up, let's have a reminder of the headlines once again. Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal Prachanda in New Delhi for four-day official visit to India. Prime Minister says his visit focused on fostering harmony. President Ram Chandra Paudal authenticates bill drafted to amend Nepal Citizenship Act 2006. World Bank to provide 120 million US dollar concessional loan and 19.7 million US dollar aid to Nepal. And Sydney's army suspend Jeddah talks accusing paramilitary rapid support force of violating agreements. Well, that's all the news we have for this bulletin. Our next bulletin in English will be at 2 in the afternoon. You can also listen to us online at our website www.onlineradionepal.gov.np. Keep listening to Radio Nepal and have a good day.